the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Uh, just before we begin, just two things about next Sunday. Um, things are beginning to change. Okay, so next Sunday we can start singing again. So I've asked Sister Pauline to work out uh, some hymns for next Sunday. Um, also, after communion next Sunday, you can go back to your places. You don't have to leave. Okay, but I'll re- I'll remind you next week. Today in the Gospel, Jesus, he talks to us about being set apart, consecrated. And we are truly blessed. So today, for those difficult uh, uh, times in life, we ask God to help us. Today, I'd like also to pray for uh, Paul's mother-in-law, um, Beryl, and her brother, David, both of them who have died uh, last week. Last week. Okay. So we pray for them today. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are now seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory be to God the Father. Glory be to God the Son. Glory be to God the Spirit. Each is God, yet God is one. Let us pray. O Lord, Jesus is with you in your glory. Listen to our prayers. We believe in Jesus, the Saviour of all peoples, until the end of the world. For Jesus lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. One day Peter stood up to speak and there were about 120 people. Peter said, Friends, through David, the Holy Spirit said, Everything in the scriptures must happen. The scriptures tell something about Judas. He was one of us and shared the ministry with us. But he helped the men to arrest Jesus. In the book of Psalms it says, Another person must take his place. So we must choose another person to join us as a witness of Jesus' resurrection. That person must have been with Jesus and with us all the time since the beginning. 
from when John began baptizing until the day Jesus rose to heaven. The apostles found two men, Joseph Justus, also known as Bathsabas, and Matthias. The apostles prayed, Lord, you know the minds and hearts of all people. Show us which one of these two you want to do the work of Judas. Because Judas gave up this work and killed himself. Then the apostles used Lot and Matthias was chosen to become one of the twelve apostles. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. The Lord lives in heaven. Response. The Lord lives in heaven. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. Bless his holy name. I will never forget all his blessings. He always forgives us. Response. The Lord Lord lives lives in in heaven. heaven. The Lord loves his people. His love is always strong. Everywhere the Lord is powerful. The Lord rules over everybody. Let us thank the Lord. Response. The Lord Lord lives lives in in heaven. heaven. A reading from St. John's first letter. My dear friends, Because God loved us so much, we should love each other also. No person has seen God, but if we love each other, God will live in us and his love will become perfect in us. We know, we know we live in God and God lives in us because he gives us his spirit. We saw and we tell all people that the Father sent his Son to save the world. If any person believes Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in that person, and that person lives in God. We know and we have faith that God shows his love to us. God is love, and any person living in love lives in God, and God lives in them. Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord says, I will never leave you alone like children without parents. I will come back to you and your hearts will be full of joy. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel, the Gospel according to John.
Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Holy Father, keep the people that you gave to me safe by the power of your name so that they will be together and become one the same as you and I are one when I was with them I tried to keep them safe through the power of your name I protected them and no one was lost, only Judas. He chose to be lost. The scriptures said that this would happen. Now I am coming to you, Father. But while I am still in the world, I want to say all of these things to them that I can share my joy with them. I have given your teaching to all the peoples. The world hated them because they do not belong to the world the same as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them from the world, but I ask you to protect all of them from the devil. They, they do not belong to the world the same as I do not belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. I have sent them into the world the same as you sent me into the world. And I myself became holy so that they could be consecrated in the truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We say in the church that really two things have kept the church strong throughout the ages. The, the first one, scripture. The second one, tradition. Tradition. Do it again. Tradition. Okay. Two important things. And they're important for a very long time. Today, in that first reading, Judas, he betrayed Jesus, the end of him. So now there's only 11 disciples, 11 apostles. We must follow the tradition of the past. The twelve tribes of Israel. So the apostles, they choose a replacement for Judas. Tradition has been important in the church. Today, in the Gospel, we see Jesus very close to his Father in heaven. Close because we see him praying to his God. And what is Jesus talking about? What's he praying for? Not himself. He's praying 
for his friends. And he says to God, I want to consecrate, consecrate, that consecrate them. But really, that word uh, consecrate has a slightly different meaning. It really means to be set apart. So here, the people of the world, here, the followers of Jesus. So Jesus has set all of us apart from the world. And the world, it carries on and it does um, all the things that it wants to do. But the people here who follow Jesus, these people, and that's all of us as well, we have been given laws from Jesus. Laws that make us different. Laws that we follow. But, in truth, there are not many of them. Jesus is very easy with us. He talked about the law of love. Jesus loves his Father. We see that today as he prays to his Father in heaven. If we can love just a little bit in the same way that Jesus loves his Father, only a bit, we will change ourselves, we will change the world. Jesus asks the disciples to go out and to baptise all the nations of the world. There were only 12 of them. That's a difficult job. But, as we have seen over the past 2,000 years, Christianity has spread all over the world. So they did a good job. Today, Jesus is asking us to remember that each one of us is set apart from the world. But we are also linked with the world. And we must try to bring people from here to join here. And it's our duty to spread the good news of Jesus in the same way those first apostles did. Now, we still have missioners that go out, priests, religious, and brothers, and yes, they go out to all the different places throughout the world. But each one of us also, we have to join in with uh, that job of missioners. And the best way that we can do that today is to live our lives worthy of Jesus and his teaching. It's difficult. Loving each other is difficult sometimes. I have to, some, uh, sometimes I have to remind myself if I'm working with someone, it's difficult. 
God, give me patience, please. But I ask God in those times, what would Jesus do with this person? And it reminds me to focus on Jesus and his Father in heaven. And that's a good thing to do. To remind ourselves, what would Jesus do here? I'm finding, I'm finding this difficult. Jesus, he would, he would have patience. And Jesus, he would love that person. And Jesus asks me to do the same. We see Jesus in prayer today. And that also reminds all of us to continue praying to God. Because if Jesus needs to pray to God, then so do we. And if all of us can remember to pray to God, God will help us to become more and more like his son Jesus. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come to judge the living and the dead, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So now, with confidence, we turn to God, praying to him like Jesus did. The response, we pray, praise the Lord, alleluia. Praise the Lord, alleluia. alleluia. We pray for the leaders in the church, especially those who have made difficult decisions. Give them wisdom and guide them as they govern the people in the world. We pray, praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord. Alleluia. This week, the 22nd of May, is the fourth anniversary of the bomb in Manchester Arena. We continue to pray for all families who have lost their loved ones, that God will ease the pain in their hearts and give them strength. We also pray for those who were injured in the bomb blast. We pray. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. We pray for people in India as they suffer from the virus and that, and that world con countries will be quick to offer support and vaccines. We continue to pray for those affected by the virus. And we thank God that we are well and we look forward to returning to the club 
which will be opened on Tuesday. And may God continue to protect us all. We pray. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. We pray for ourselves that we will be prepared to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost next week. We also pray for Paul Alves, who will be confirmed next week. We pray, praise Praise the the Lord, Lord. alleluia. We pray for those who have died and for all the holy souls. We pray, praise the Lord, Lord. Alleluia. alleluia. And now we offer all our prayers to God as we pray with Mary. Hail Mary, Mary, full full of of grace. grace. The The Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for for us sinners sinners now and at the hour hour of our death. Amen. Lord God in heaven, it is important to all of us that we remember to offer you our prayers. We ask you to heal them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This water and wine when we come to share in the goodness of the Who humbled himself to share in the goodness Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, accept these offerings and the prayers of your faithful people. Through our worship, let us um, reach the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially in this time of Easter when Christ became our Passover and has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed or destroyed our death. By rising, he has given us new life. Therefore, in this holy Easter time, every land and every people should give you praise. But now, the heavenly powers with all of the angelic hosts sing together the, uh, the never-ending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that uh, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with, uh, with Francis, our Pope, with John, our Bishop, and with all of the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with blessed Joseph, uh, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So now, at the Saviour's command and formed by his holy teaching, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 